segment of Big Bang Theory Alice BTS vlog. Oh! Pasca, Greek Easter is over for another year, so there's no more Cristo Sinesti until uh, next year. Anyways, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 19 hours and 40 minutes into the uh, day of Friday, June 10th, 2016. And we are behind schedule because we're operating in, in crisis mode. Uh, what's happening? Well, uh, the main editing desk, uh, uh, to my surprise, on Wednesday went down. There was an error in, uh, on the system. And uh, basically, uh, uh, Kubuntu 1510 kind of collapsed. Uh, I've had to pull the 1510 off and roll it back to... Uh, uh, fourteen four, uh, of uh, that's the uh, edition, the uh, version of Kubuntu. Uh, it fourteen four is working well. I'm still haven't finished doing the final configuration for it. Anytime you reinstall uh, an operating system, you have to do uh, system debug and uh, configuration to get it back working to the way it was before. That usually takes a couple of days. Uh, <coughs> and to my surprise, uh, the, the collapse occurred with this latest upgrade, and uh, it, the, the collapse was was significant and to and critical on uh, the editing bay, but it wasn't critical on the rest of the system. What happened for the rest of the system? It knocked out the network, and what happened is it hit the, when it uh, reinstalled uh, some of its uh, software to upgrade some of the software. Uh, the configure fi the configuration files changed uh, in a way that actually caused the uh, network to disconnect. So I had to go back in and sort of uh, readjust things uh, from my notes and slowly bring the network back up to where it should be. And that's what I'm doing now is uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> rebalancing the network, making sure things work properly. I did some extra... While I was in in this uh, sort of uh, in this sort of position, I took the opportunity to do some final fixing up on the router. Things are working better now. So it's been uh, basically uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and today. Uh, it's been uh, three, four days of repair. Just about three days worth of repair. That's going to be fourth one. The fourth day on Saturday. Tomorrow will be another day of repair. Uh, I am moving ahead on other things. And, uh, but there are these issues of sort of cause a backlog, particularly in the uh, BTS vlog. So, uh, things should start getting back to normal uh, Saturday tomorrow, uh, and we'll see what happens then. Uh, anyways, I think I'm going to leave it here for now, and I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS vlog. All right, uh, take it easy. Alrighty, hello everybody, this is about uh, 10 hours and uh, 55 minutes into the day of Saturday, June 11th, 2016, and I'm off going food shopping again. Uh, I always adjust my days a little bit, it's not exactly 7 days, it really depends on how fast the food goes. And when I'm planning to do shopping again. So I'm not planning to go shopping again until Friday. So uh, that means today. So today is uh, shopping day. Uh, so I'm off once again. Uh, uh, because we're doing this and now we have the second camera. 
I didn't feel the need to sort of vlog in the sort of the entryway the way I do before. Although I should on the way back uh, have something on the way back while well, well, I'm packing we can talk but uh, uh, right now the vlog is going to be kind of short because we're still backlogged. Uh, I should have the editing bay back and working again today. Uh, but once the uh, editing begins, and it's not really the part of editing, putting things together, it's the rendering. The rendering is the problem, because it takes about five hours to get the work done. So, uh, let's say I get the, the, the fourth and the fifth in there, the, the, the one that got sort of uh, bogged down on on Wednesday, uh, that was supposed to go out. But I never did because, well, uh, the system went down. So the editing went down. So, uh, and I hadn't finished the front room yet, and uh, where, where the new editing base are going to be. And then, of course, the network went down. So uh, the network's back and working again. I just do one last system. That's actually the first editing bay that went down. That still has to be configured for the network. And then once that's done. Uh, I can begin rendering. So that's what's on schedule when I come back. I'm also going to be filming uh, for a new series called Ubuntu BSD, Ubuntu BSD Unix Hotel. That's the uh, Linux program that I have. I'm gonna switch hands because my arm is getting tired. <laughs> that's what happens when you vlog and you're walking. Um, I've begun a project, uh, actually not really begun the project, I'm bringing a project out that uh, really kind of hasn't been out before. Uh, it's a combination of uh, close to 25 years worth of work. It's called the Open Protocol Institute. It sets a new standard for science, for uh, technology, a whole bunch of different things, all based on the open source uh, concept. Uh, I, as a private scientist, I'm not with a uh, major university, I don't take money from the government, etc. So I don't have deep pockets. So in order to build my institute, I had to resort to open source. Open source is cheap. It's not always the latest and greatest, but if it works, it works, uh, and the price is right. And obviously, the uh, one of the... Uh, models of open sources uh, when you take you plan to give something back and so this is the case here and because I found that it applies to so many other different things uh, I set up an institute uh, called the Open Protocol Institute that will handle everything that all the different areas that are going to be open like open science open education open medicine uh, all these areas can be open they all can be based on the open concept, including open internet, open IPTV. Uh, if you're using a box at home, uh, you're using IPTV because it's coming in through the internet. Uh, there aren't, uh, aren't a lot of open choices anymore. Uh, most of the major cable companies are coming in and taking things over. And so, the needs to, attention needs to be paid towards uh, keeping the IPTV, IPTV choices open. And so I set up a thing called, uh, under the uh, Open Protocol Institute, uh, called IP, Open IPTV. And this is going to be sort of working on that line there. So it provides an alternative if, you, if one, you want to cut the cable or you can't afford cable TV. Uh, obviously, you're going to have to choose some provider as uh, your source for the internet. That is not open yet, but uh, uh, we'll see what happens in terms of uh, where technology goes and what our options are is if we can actually create an open, IP, open uh, internet. So uh, that's something to be seen. <sighs> Anyways, I'm coming to the street that I needed to cross, so I will talk to you in the next segment on the way back. Welcome back everyone to another segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS vlog, yeah. 
We are vlogging to you uh, from this TNT store. I get to see if this is recording or not. Yeah, it's recording. That's the problem with the bright sunlight. Uh, LCD screens are hard to see. And <laughs> yeah, so it is just about uh, 12 hours and 44 minutes into the day of Saturday, June 11th, 2016. That's our time and date stamp. Oh, yeah, I just finished. I've got a good sized load on my back. Um, uh, really, I'm really going to be testing out the cooler system uh, today because uh, there was a delay in one of the big good items. And when I put uh, my milk in the bag, uh, the uh, the the cooler items, the uh, cooler cooling packs were still frozen. So, uh, and I came when I was up like, uh, let's say 11 o'clock. It's uh, 11, 12, it's one hour. This is uh, another 45 minutes after that. So because I just got out of the, uh, the, the store. So uh, we're, talking, we're going on three hours now. And the goal is to see if uh, the uh, freezer pack holds all the way to three hours. It should hold. It, it, the freezer packs are still frozen. Uh, the, the, the cold bag was still cold. So I shouldn't have any problems. I've got milk and blueberries in there. Uh, I didn't want to leave the blueberries up because it's rather warm today. Uh, it says it's going to get up to 80, but the problem is, even uh, earlier this uh, when I came this morning, uh, uh, there's a high humidity, so it feels a lot warmer. And in terms of uh, uh, what it does, that the, the heat in the air, even though it doesn't register on the thermometer, uh, what it does do is it makes everything in the body, everything uh, warmer, and that's uh, not good for stuff that's supposed to be cold. Or at least cool. So uh, that's the thing now. And so now it's a matter of getting back, unpacking, and then getting the rest of the day started. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see where we go from here. You know, this uh, carbon tax thing is really working out very well. Um, I, I think by the time that we get through it, it will solve the uh, humanity problem in terms of the population because uh, with the taxes going so high the way they are in Canada, I can see that a good amount of people are going to end up starving to death. And you know, as global warming, as the global warming activists said, the more people who are killed, the better, because you know they're just taking up uh, space and uh, polluting the atmosphere. So, uh, of course, these activists and the uh, Politicians don't include themselves in these equations in terms of who has to be called. Well, I wonder how supportive of people would be of uh, global warming uh, efforts. This stops with what's called global warming, which is basically a hallucination. If the gun of elimination, the culling gun, was aimed at them, that's a thought. All right, I'll leave it here. I'm back. Uh, welcome to the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS vlog. It is oh, 13 hours and 17 minutes into the day of uh, Saturday, June uh, 11th, 2016. And that means uh, it's about just about 40 minutes after I last talked to you and so that's that's about the time it takes me 45 minutes to an hour it takes me to get home uh, so I was in the, the supermarket for that period of time so now to unpack this will be the uh, sort of the key to everything is that given this length of time if the uh, the bag is still cold, the uh, ice bag and the milk is still cold, it would have passed our test. Or passed it. I've got the bread. i got more bread. Uh, the bread goes pretty quickly. 
Well, I got these two things. These are uh, strainers. Uh, I'm going to put them together like this. Uh, I'm going to take the wood blocks out, put them together like this, and use and put fruit in here so I can make fruit tea. Uh, that's how I make the fruit tea is, uh, is by uh, sort of taking, uh, is sort of putting these two, two, two things together, and that gives me a uh, sort of like a, a large tea ball. You'll see more what, what I'm talking about uh, as I take the rest of the stuff out. I bought one fish grate to do fish and seafood on uh, last week, but I found another one for $2. Uh, this is a lot better. The, the squares, uh, the mesh is a lot tighter, finer. Uh, it's, it's a better uh, 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 arrangement for seafood. If you're doing seafood on, your, on, on a grill or in the oven like that, uh, it gives you a grill type of, behavior, a grill type of uh, system work on so rather than having uh, uh, like uh, usually you put tin foil underneath but uh, okay let me get this out double pack things here so it's a little tight I got another tea ball and that's uh, because with the tea you can put in things like dates uh, uh, I have uh, honeysuckle flowers. You could put rose petals in there uh, to sort of flavor your tea. Uh, I have another one of these for sauces. I make my own sauces, including um, uh, salad dressing. So uh, I could put that in there. Uh, those uh, those are called the bio kips are very good. And because I go to an Asian supermarket, I always have a ton of Asian snacks to choose from on a regular basis, so I got these uh, Honey Twist snacks uh, from, Nong, from Nong Shim and uh, I haven't tasted them yet but I will uh, actually sometime today I'll probably have I'll have uh, one of these uh, so that allows me to get the other thing up that I bought I need storage containers for a lot of different things and for a very cheap price, I have this, uh, they have this uh, uh, rice bin that works very well. So I got this, it's a rice bin. It holds about 10 kilograms. Uh, I have rice that I need to put in it, but I also have, uh, I also want to put uh, uh, roasted peanuts in there as well. I have, so I have, I have a couple of these where I have, I have flour in there, I have cocoa in this, uh, I have, uh, of course, rice. Uh, then I want to put roast peanuts in here. Uh, so this gives me a variety of different options. Then I wanted to try a tin of cookies. These are uh, Julie's assorted biscuits here. We'll see how these ended up ta end up tasting. This is what I got. We'll try that out and see how that work ends up working out. Then of course I bought the milk and cold. The uh, ice packs worked. The uh, the new arrangement works very well, so I'm happy with that. And of course, I got three packs of blueberries. Which I will get out now. Mm. Here are the blueberries, and the blueberries are also cold. So the uh, freeze pack, the, uh, the cooler bag works very well. Very happy with it, and 
Of course, that means oh, I have new options in terms of uh, how long I can be out food shopping for. Uh, and regular shopping, because I do both at the same time. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I think I'll uh, take a bit of a break, have something to eat, and I'll see you guys uh, probably later on tonight, because I still have to do some uh, debug work on the network and get the first series of clips uh, for the next episode into the editing bay, and let's see how that ends up working out. All right, take it easy, and... See you later. Democratic Earth. Earth.